2023 is over and what a year it was. War, Ukraine, COVID, coups in Africa, invasions, earthquakes, nuclear escalation, triggers in SBF, drama at OpenAI, Barbie Oppenheimer, inflation, the tax era, bankruptcy, fire, 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 The Last of Us, Chinese spy balloon, Titan, Twitter, X, McCarthy, Yacarino, Argentina elections, Netherlands elections, Matt Perry, Hollywood strike, Messi in Miami, the Roman Empire, girl dinner, girl math, Nepo babies, Skibidi toilet. With this in mind, here are five 2024 predictions for key events and trends that will take shape in the new year. Five, Ozempic changes the economy. If you haven't heard of Ozempic, A, that's weird, and B, you will in 2024. On paper, Ozempic is a medication primarily used for treatment of type 2 diabetes. In reality, it's the hot new drug everyone's talking about to lose an extra 20 pounds and keep them off. Supposedly, Ozempic makes its users less hungry and less prone to impulse. It's almost a universal demand suppressant at most, or at least very good at suppressing addictive behaviors. Problem is, a universal demand suppressant is bad for business and the economy. People on Ozempic eat less fatty food, drink less alcohol, stop smoking, and many industries are worried, with companies weighing in on the drug during earning calls. A few examples of businesses that are likely to be negatively impacted by the Ozempic economy are retail, Walmart, snack, fast food, tobacco, the, the list goes on. Ozempic isn't alone in the market, too. These drugs are proliferating as competitors, like Manjaro, Weguvi, and many others are catching up. Morgan Stanley has projected that 24 million people, or nearly 7% of the U.S. population, will be taking medications as of 2035. In 2022, the fast food market was $382 billion, snack food was $110 billion, tobacco was $83 billion. A 5% reduction in these markets would create a $30 billion size hole in the economy, and that's only the first level effect. It will also have to contend with medication companies losing business, psychologists having less clients, gyms emptying, social media seeing less use, and sinking the world's advertising business. In 2024, entire economies will start to change. There will be winners like airlines and governments, but whether Ozempic ends up being a net positive is still up for discussion. Number four, Los Angeles becomes the next Detroit, aka death by TikTok. 2023 saw a massive actor's writer strike, which ended with a widely celebrated agreement. I believe these celebrations are premature and that the agreement marks the official beginning of the end for Hollywood. In 30 years, the city will look like Detroit in the late 80s. Why do I say that? Firstly, because of competition from social media. And secondly, it's no coincidence that the year of the writer's strike is also the year of AI. The emergence of AI in content creation presents a challenge to traditional Hollywood writers and producers and will lead to job losses and reduced industry relevance. It will also be so much easier to create filler shows without real actors and writers. And the A-listers can continue to be paid well to work with AAA content. The writing is already on the wall, if blurry. The day Microsoft had announced it was incorporating AI into its office suite. It added the value of Disney to its capitalization. All this means that there is less money for an industry that was already growing less relevant as international markets develop their own tastes. Squid Games, Casa de Popel, writers are celebrating a 5% raise when adjusted for inflation, the average writer producer's salary is declined 23% in the past decade. Also, inflation was 8% last year. In 2024, the top 10% will thrive, but everyone else in the industry will suffer and Hollywood will start a long descent into irrelevance. Number three, tech companies buy clean vegan data. 2023 was the year AI. This was an exciting time for many people and a scary one for others. Ironically, the companies that are likely stressing out the most about AI right now are the ones creating it. That's because as AI digests and reproduces content, it's ruining every single platform with a mountain of nonsense. It's poisoning Spotify, YouTube, Google, Facebook. Over time, it will get harder to train new AIs. And as the quality of the data used will be lesser, heavily influenced by millions of AI generated pieces of content, one might argue that the best way out is to identify AI data and to leave it out of training sets, but that's famously difficult. No, the only way out is to produce and sell 100% certified, non-contaminated data sets. This industry-wide need will lead to creation of a new type of company, from which social media companies will buy training data sets to train their algorithm. And trust me, they'll be expensive. 
that will be all the more expensive because I believe they will have the added benefit of being commercially viable to avoid the avalanche of copyright lawsuits that are about to befall our tech overlords. The Zucks, Musk, and Spiegels of the world will be forced to invest to bring back trust to their platform, without which they're doomed. Adobe was the first to launch a, quote, commercially safe model. They won't be the last. In 2024, it'll be a good time to start a clean data company. Number two, AI anchors invade waiting rooms. There are a lot of TVs not in homes today, 219 million TVs total in the US, even after a decade of cord cutting. And those TVs show content which costs money to produce and license. They show CNN in airports, 80 sitcoms, reruns in waiting rooms, cheap cooking shows and cheap hotels. The list goes on and on. In short, there exists a subspace dimension of streaming services watched by, from what I can tell, no one where ads play in between TV shows and movies that don't really exist in any cultural, meaningful way, like the streaming video equivalent of two cameras pointing at each other. And there's where AI-generated content will launch initially. We're not ready for generative artificial intelligence to create entire personalized movies, which, by the way, already exist, and it's called TikTok. We're, however, ready for the dystopian nightmare that is AI news. An AI startup aptly named Channel One is promising a new news network powered entirely by AI-generated hosts. You can watch the demo here. While dystopian, it will probably work and become the norm. It's cheap to produce, doesn't require much input, and boomers in the waiting room won't know the difference. As highlighted earlier, Hollywood and content as a whole is a dying breed except for AAA content. My personal theory is that over time, this type of visual little netherworld will eventually swallow every streaming service that isn't Netflix, Amazon Prime, and maybe Apple TV and Disney+. In 2024, the news will be AI-generated, and the person telling it to you will be fake. What a time to be alive. What that will do to fake news, only time will tell, but I'd wager it won't be good. Number one, lawyers have a busy 2024. In 2024, AI will continue to become ever more pervasive throughout companies. This will lead to many fun hijinks and to some overworked lawyers. Think about the many issues AI will bring about for those poor ex gifted kids. People suing companies for copyright infringements if clean data hasn't been used. And then if that doesn't stick for bias and discrimination, employees suing companies en masse for wrongdoing dismissal because an AI can now do their job. Governments implementing new rules that management won't understand like the recent AI Act itself. AI bots malfunctioning and leading to mistakes and lawsuits. AI bots accidentally leaking out training data containing sensitive information. AI bots mistakenly telling children how to build a bomb or worse. The list goes on. It's not a bad career to go into if you're 18 and trying to figure out a path for yourself, but probably a very tiring time right now. Hope corporate lawyers have a restful end of 2023 because their 2024 is going to be difficult. So guys, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below for more interesting content. Give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more awesome content. Have a nice day and I'll see you in the next video.